Well, welcome to the channel. Now the plan is to bring this out at some point. It needs a wash desperately. It's very, very dusty. It hasn't run for a little while, so I need to bring that out. But before I can bring that out, I need to move this, which is the 1930 Ford Model AA. It's in the way a little bit there. I need to move it anyway, and I can't fully get these doors open. So today's plan is to fuel this up, find a battery, take the covers off, and see whether this one will run. Um, the first thing to do is to clear the drive up a bit and then take these covers off. Yeah, this is a this is 1930 Ford Model AA, which was basically the little big brother to the Ford Model A car. Everything was slightly beefed up, but the engine was the same engine, although I believe some of the UK market Model AAs had a slightly smaller engine for tax purposes. This is a left-hand drive truck that was in I'm not quite sure when this was imported I believe it may have spent its early years in mainland Ireland but I'm not entirely sure uh, like I say this is a 1930 1931 they had an all steel roof whereas these ones still had like a Rexine covered affair this was part of something called the Paradise Collection quite a few years ago now, I bought this years ago and there was a big auction sale and this was included in the vehicles that were sold off most of the vehicles I think were fully restored and this one has seen a fair bit of restoration work all the chassis and everything was done it's all very clean underneath if we have a look back here you can see it's all new wood back was put on it well, this was stripped and painted, the cab was taken off, it was repainted to an average standard but it's picked up quite a few scuffs before I had it, before I found it years ago. So it wants some finishing off but it's a basically a very sound old truck and I just love this era of vehicle anyway. And, uh, it's such a charismatic old thing, a bit like the Waltons on TV and the Beverly Hillbillies. So like I say under the bonnet it's mainly Ford Model A. I'm not quite sure if this is the, the smaller or the larger full-size engine, uh, the full-size American home market vehicles. It was a 3.3 litre engine, side valve, four cylinder. Uh, since getting it, and I've done a fair bit of work to it, it had new tyres on the front, had the wheels all stripped, I repainted those. New tyres on the front and matching part ones on the back. I put a new water pump on it, because that was pretty well worn. It's had various new ignition parts on it. I had a reconditioned carburetor I bought from the States. I fitted that. I think, yeah, this lever here, the advance and retard uh, rod was missing. There were quite a few other odds and ends that I had to do to it, just to get it so that it ran reasonably reliably. Like I say, there was a lot of restoration work done, but I don't think it was ever quite finished. And Obviously I've done the work to it since, but it's still not quite finished. Um, and even though the paint's a bit scratty, like everything of mine, it's actually quite solid in here. Uh, the seat was reupholstered. Dashboard's quite nice, I spray. This has just got some oil sprayed over it just to stop it going rusty. But it's actually pretty sound, it's had a few little repairs here and there, but by and large, it's in good order. And I just love this, love this era of truck. I know quite a few Model AAs have been broken up because people use the cabs on these hot rod type machines that they race like at Pending Sands and places like that. And they get a Model A chassis, get one of these cabs and make a nice little pickup truck out of them. Yeah, but that means you lose one of the proper trucks, which would be a shame. These should shouldn't be chromed, those should be painted, so at some point they need dipping and stripping. Same for this crossbar here, that should be painted black and the window surround. The windscreen frame on this one isn't great, I would like to find another windscreen assembly if I could. Uh, this is okay. Like I say, these aren't quite right, there were, there were holes in the top of the wings where maybe someone had fitted a mirror or some sort of indicator, so I had these old directional turn signals. Uh, can't remember signal stat. That's my proper American ones. So the hole was right. So uh, I fitted a pair of those. They're not wired in yet, but they look the part. And they're proper, proper American parts. So that's all good. So that's the full model AA. Which, like I say, I've had it for years. This thing it popped up 
on a certain internet auction site. And I was, I had a go at it, and I was slightly taken aback that I won it. Um, it's had some repairs down here, but it's still, it's still holding up. It's still pretty sound. Um, like I said, the paint's gone a bit scratchy. It was like that when I got it, so it's not my fault. So someone's painted it averagely in the past. It's not really got any better, but wipe it over with an oily rag and it comes up looking okay this isn't too bad actually the bonnet's a bit faded on the top but you know it doesn't really matter like I say all this was all this was newly newly built by the previous owner all this it's all good around here which I was quite keen on and pillars and everything they're all good steering wheel showing its age a little bit I had to rig up some temporary switches because none of the the original light switch mechanism isn't all there so I need to find the gubbins that goes at the bottom of the steering column that this operates in order to actuate the headlamps so a few years ago I was taking this to the local school fair or school feet type thing um, so I just had to rig up some temporary switches just so that it was legal to drive and the lights all worked and the horn and stuff uh, but long term this one's reinstating really but it's not super critical as long as it's as long as they work I'm not worrying too much this was an old Irish coin it's only 1982 but I found that under the seat and like I say I was told that this actually started out life once imported in Ireland so uh, I have got an old black and white photo of an AA that came with it with an Irish registration on it so it could well be this could well be this vehicle like I say the paint isn't great but it's all it's all proper metal there's no no filler in here, the cab's reasonable, it's had a few little repairs but it's not too bad overall. Like I said, the back end was all remade. What you have to watch when you're reversing it is that the body is a whole lot wider than the cab. So you really have to bear that in mind. Now I've got some mirrors that go on the side of the cab here and they stick out to roughly the width of the body, which is a good way of remembering just how wide it is. Because you could sail through a gap but this will fit through, forgetting just how much wider the rear body is. This is a long wheelbase Model AA. They did a, a shorter wheelbase with a single rear wheels. And this has got the twin rear wheels. I can't quite remember the wheelbase. I think it might be 157 inches offhand. I could be wrong. But yeah, that's the, the Model AA. It's appeared in the back of a couple of other videos already. I thought it deserved its own video now. and. Uh, as I need to move it and just tuck it in a bit better so it's not blocking the entrance to the garage I thought this was a good opportunity just to do a quick video on it fire it up, see if it'll run and then warm it through a bit the fuel tank is behind here and obviously you fill it up there and it comes down here, there's a fuel tap under the uh, dashboard which I'll show you in a minute and basically it just relies on gravity and drips down runs down into the carburetor here and it's as simple as you can be. No HT leads, it just has these metal contacts, same as the Ford Model A. I've currently got it rigged up to a 12 volt coil because my 6 volt battery packed up, but there's the 6 volt coil, so I can always swap it back as and when I get the correct battery for it. There's a few little bits of wiring that need doing, but basically it runs quite nicely. I'm not quite sure what work's been done on the engine. Um, but it seems to run okay, it doesn't smoke or knock or do anything unpleasant and at least being sharing much of its engine mechanicals with the Model A means that it's quite easy to find parts for the Model AA obviously the axles are slightly beefier, the wheels are bigger the gearbox, it's a 4 speed gearbox in the Model AA the car had a 3 speed so there are differences there but the main engine, all this is the same as a Model A car and there are various suppliers even in the UK for Model A parts so it's actually quite easy to find the bits under the bonnet which is not the case for every pre-war car I can certainly I can tell you that so uh, that's one of the advantages of Model A's and Model AA's finding parts is actually not too bad but once you start getting into the transmission which is a lot beefier on the AA then it gets a little bit more awkward because there aren't that many 
that many parts around in this country. You can find them, but like anything, you just need to go digging for them. What I do is I just spray a bit of oil over this every now and again just to keep it all tickety-boo. Exhaust wants a lick of paint. That was all new when it was originally done. I'm not quite sure why the previous owner who had this huge collection of old lorries didn't finish this one off. I think in the sale there were several of these. He was obviously very keen on his lorries. Some of the work that's been done to it isn't mega, but it's good enough. So, I think we'll go and get some fuel, top it up up there, go and find the battery, go and hang that on. That goes under the floor, which is just sat in place at the moment. That goes under there, the battery, so I'll lift these out. And then we can have a go, see if it'll start, see if I can remember the start routine, because it's not quite as straightforward as some cars uh, but we'll have a look at that in a few minutes right here we go so let's put it into neutral one two three four in reverse you lift that up and go across over there so now it's slightly involved this is so I have to turn the fuel on there's a tap under here which is down for on don't think the handbrake's on right so now this is the enrichment so you have to wind it all the way in then back it off a little way about half a turn when you feel it's starting to do something so that's the enrichment. Ignition on. Like I say some of this switch gear isn't original. So now this is the advance and retard. I'm trying to think which way it goes. I think that's I think that's retarded. We'll soon find out. And then we just give it a little bit of throttle. that's on and then when you go for the start the starter button is down there you have to pull this out so you adjust it so it's about half a turn out and then when you go for the start you pull it out and then let go once it fires up that's the theory anyway so let's give that a go so ignition's on I need to tighten the battery up battery connections cleaned up a little bit Ignition on, starter down there. And like I say, we just have to give this a little pull until it fires up. quietest of places to be but It's a little bit spluttery, but with a short exhaust on the trucks, it, they do sound different to the cars. And it's actually running quite nicely that now. Let's have a look under the bonnet. Does it run out of fuel? The way of telling, the fuel gauge is in the middle of the cluster there. 
and you just shake it looks like it's got it should still have some in it so let's just go and see if it'll start up again it's a nice simple fuel gauge it's literally a float in the tank that is behind here in the clutch a little bit day for playing outside try not hit my wife's car really smoothens out once you knock the choke off completely that water pump assembly was new it's got seal bearings in there even though it's got grease guns on it uh, grease nipples on it or zerks as i think they're called in america they're just false it's actually seal bearings in there i've been joined by my young assistant now i think he might be wanting to have a go in it right you okay <coughs> I mean, he has driven this before, but not for a few months, so we'll just go through the routine again. Now, clutch down, that's it. Yes. Yeah. Just, like I say, once it starts biting, that's it. Let's see. Give it a little bit if you want. Versus. Yeah, you have to go back and then left, isn't it? This way. So you have to lift the little catch up yeah, and then down towards me. That's it. it. Yeah, okay. So remember, when it starts biting, just hold it on the clutch there yeah, no. until it's fully moving. You don't have to be as subtle with the power on this because it's nowhere near as quick as. No. no. very mechanical isn't it you feel exactly what's going on yeah. okay so a little bit of throttle then as it starts to roll yeah. just hold it on the clutch there and then that's it that's it and give it a little bit of gas then Reverse it back up there and then I'm going to give it a quick wash. Okay. Okay, here we go.
bit different to the modern stuff, isn't it? <laughs> I actually prefer it, I think. What, this? Yeah, I think I prefer it. Okay, well she's tucked away again, safe and sound, so I'll just have to disconnect the battery. And there we go, it's had a nice warm up today, clutch exercise, starter, carburetor, ignition, everything, so that's done it some good. So it's nice to get a bit of heat around everything. I do spray oil over the engine and everything while it's parked up, but there's no substitute for a bit of warmth getting through everything. So. That's all, all good fun, so uh, I think we'll tidy up, cover everything away, and uh, retire to the house. So uh, thanks for watching, hope this little video on the Model AA was of interest. Let me know in the comments if you've got one of these or a Model A car. I'd be interested to hear about what, what, you know, the vehicles that you own, and uh, more videos very soon. Please check out the other videos that are already on this channel. Some are lorry related, some are vans, cars and so on, and there will be more coming very soon. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe to the uh, channel if you uh, find this kind of thing of interest. Thanks a lot.